So in the last video, we created a simple example of how to bring Excel data into AutoCAD, into an AutoCAD table. In this example, we'll create a link between Excel and AutoCAD. So the first step is to go into Excel and then select a region or a range of cells and right click and choose define name and then give it a name. So in this drawing, in this Excel table, I've already created one and it's called table to bring in. This, these, the same cells we used in the last example. So make sure after you create your named range to save the Excel worksheet. Then once in AutoCAD, we can type the table command. Then we can come in and we create a data link. To do that, we'll launch the data link manager and we'll create a new Excel data link. We'll give it a name. And then we'll select the file that we have our named range in. So I could just link to a sheet, a named range, or a linked range, but I usually have stuff on the, if the worksheet that I don't want to bring in, so I usually typically use the named range. So here's a preview of the data, and I'll press OK. And then I'll just press OK again, and then insert the, the table into the drawing. So now that I have it in there, I can go to my Excel worksheet, and I can change the numbers. So I'll save my Excel spreadsheet. Then I'll select my table. And you can tell it's linked because it's got the little uh, lock and the little link to it. And then I can right click. It's off the screen. But I can also come down here to the little icon that shows up for the data link. And up, there's an option that's off the screen, but you can update all data links. And so now it's been updated, and you'll see that the numbers now go in the opposite or direction than what was in there. And so that's how you can link an Excel worksheet to an AutoCAD table.